uh, I know there's been a lot of adverse reaction about the new jersey or the away jersey. How does the team feel about it? I mean, not playing in your first World Cup game in green and gold. No, the thing is, it's our jersey. The yeah, microphone, sorry. You, you have to use the microphone. Sorry, 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 yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay, sorry, one, two. Are you okay now? Thank you. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's our away, our away game jersey, and uh, it's official. And we've made peace with it a long time ago, and we actually enjoy it. We like the jersey. Uh, if you remember the game we played against Argentina in Buenos Aires, uh, you, you can't fault it, you know. Uh, we had a good game. Uh, so the record under the jersey now at the moment is 100%. So I think the, the energy is positive on it. Uh, so once again, we're looking forward to the game. Coach Stoker, um, Jamie Ritchie claims that uh, Scotland will play the f uh, fastest rugby in the world to, to uh, get out of the group stages and against the box. Will the box be able to keep up with the Scots? I, I think Scotland at the moment is a team that in a good space and uh, I know their coaching staff very well. If you look at a guy like Greg Thousand, I've played with him at the Sharks and I know his philosophy very well that he, he enjoys good running rugby and also uh, Brad from New Zealand. I think you can see the impact they've got, the influence they've got in that team. Very, very confident players uh, in that side. And if you look at a guy like Finn Russell at 10, which is probably one of the best uh, playmakers in the game. And uh, we know it's their strength. Uh, but once again, I think with what we have faced so far as a team, if you think about playing against the Old Black twice already, this year, I think that was a good practice for us going towards the World Cup because probably if you look at the style of play Scotland are using, probably uh, coast to coast, you know, where they send the ball wide a lot. I think it's exactly what you normally face against the All Blacks, you know. So probably at the moment, yes, they're up there. They're one of the best attacking teams. Uh, but once again, as a team also, we, we've done our homework on them. Uh, we'll make sure that we also enforce our game plan into them. Uh, good afternoon. Um, just talk us through what it means to play in this first game and the fact that the box, for all the excellence in the past two World Cups, haven't won the opening game in the past two editions, even though end results have shown that it, it's not always important to start to, to start well, but finishing what it is is important. But also this group is a very difficult one as compared to groups of previous years. Yeah, can you say it's a, it's a, it's a very, very tough pool, but once again, our main focus at the moment, like we've always openly spoke about it, it's going to be the toughest game we're going to play in this World Cup, it's going to be Scotland, the first game, because if you think about it, any of the teams between Scotland, and not to disrespect other teams, but if you look at Scotland, number five, number fifth team in the world currently, you've got Ireland, the best team in the world currently, and you've got us. So all three teams are in the top five when it comes to the rankings, and uh, uh, it's going to be a tough game, uh, but once again, uh, it's a World Cup, you know. I think the game that we've played in the past against them don't count anymore. If you also look at the results yesterday, like I always say, we'll be in the top eight teams in the world rankings. If you're not at, the, at your best on a day, you're probably going to gonna have a long day at the office, you know. So the key thing for us, I think we, we, we want to have a positive start. Uh, and I know it's not going to be easy because Scotland also up for the game, but we'll do everything in our powers, you know. And uh, the history tells you, listen, even if you lose the first game, you can still go all the way and win the World Cup. So, but uh, the key thing for us is just to keep on improving on how we play the game. And I always tell people also, probably the game that we've learned the most in this season so far is the game we played against the All Blacks in Auckland, you know. We had a lot of lessons uh, as a team and uh, as a coaching staff and, and if you can see at the moment the momentum when it comes to results behind our team, I think things are going well at the moment. But once again, we're going to have to pitch tomorrow to be able to win the game. Hello. Um, it seems... Bonjour. It seems uh, that uh, the players uh, have, um, some of the players uh, um, have their families around here. Um, how will you manage 
for this uh, all through the, the World Cup, will they be there all the time or just at certain uh, times? Uh, listen, we, we're dealing with adults here in the team and uh, we're dealing with guys that are fathers. Mm -hmm. We've got ladies that are also mothers in our system. So we've got an open road policy in the sense of if a player wants to have his family for the next two months, if, if it's going to make him to be in a better space, positively, where he's got his family and kids around, I think that's what we need. You know, so we always also look at the human side. You know, uh, so we don't have a policy where we don't allow families around. Everyone from the coaching staff, management, players, is for the policy, everyone, if you want to have your family around, and I think it's good and healthy for a human being. You know, so yeah, we do have a couple of families around, and actually my family also will join, will join me in two weeks time when we're in Paris. So yeah, once again, anything that will put, it, put us in a positive space where a human being is happy, I think you'll probably get a pressure of the player from that. So as long as our players are happy and the management and the coaching staff, then we're all happy. Good day. Um, how important is it to make a, a statement of intent in the opening game? I, mean, I know obviously four years ago the result didn't get, go the box away, but you were able to recover from that. Um, but this time around, I mean, is it, how important is a, a statement win in the opening game? I think it will be massive. It will be massive, like I said, okay, between the three teams, unfortunately, someone is not going to qualify to go to the playoffs. You know, so that's why it's key for us to have a good start uh, and make sure that we keep on building from where we left when we played against the Olympics in Twickenham. And uh, it's going to be a tough World Cup. You know? It's going to be a tough World Cup. I know a lot of people uh, don't give other teams a chance. If you look at a team like uh, uh, Wales on the other side with New Zealand, no, sorry, with uh, Australia and England. So it's also going to be a tricky, tricky. Uh, competition when it comes to those teams. So we saw what happened yesterday between the old and fans you know, when we when we don't pitch up on the day, we'll probably have a long day at the office, you know. But uh, I think the key thing for us is the good start. Like we've always opened it, said to the the biggest game for us in the World Cup is the first game of the Scotland. So if we can have a good start, I think that would be put us in a better space, I think as a team. Uh, and hopefully also are going forward, you know, we've got a big squad, you know, and then I think, unfortunately for some of the players, we didn't make the squad of 23, but I think we've got the right tools in place to go all the way, and, uh, but the key thing is the, the game that we're going to play tomorrow. Hi, yeah, Elster McKenzie from the Herald in Scotland. Um, I just wanted to ask, you name-checked Finn Russell before, but I wanted to ask if you could explain a bit, from a coaching perspective, how do you prepare for a guy whose game is so based on kind of instinct and spontaneous action in the moment? Is that something that's quite a challenge for you as coaches to prepare for? Yeah, listen, probably if you look at his style of play, he's probably one of the difficult players to analyze because of how he mixes his game around. Uh, we've played against him many times and we know he's a very, very tricky player. And also, if you remember when we played against British and Irish Lions, the impact that he had in that game. So we understand very well and we, we, we respect him very well. One of the best players currently in the world. And like I said, again, okay, if you look at the confidence in that team at the moment, I think they're in a good space. Uh, and uh, yeah, but uh, I think we've done our homework. Uh, we know his strengths very well. And uh, probably a few weaknesses, but once again, We'll just make sure that you pitch on, we we'll pitch on again, and uh, if you give him time and space, he will surely punish us. So I think we've done our homework, but we'll see how things will go tomorrow. But world class player, and yeah, I think uh, the guys also in our team uh, that have played against him many times, uh, we also get an input from the players, you know, and uh, that's something that we respect in our system. And, uh, I think we'll be prepared for him, and uh, but once again, world class player. Everyone happy? Can we bring in the players? Yep. Cool. Merci beaucoup.